Hey everybody, it's Wilbits. We're playing Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Spirit of Justice, Case 5, Trial 1. It's a good mouthful. It's a lot to say. Just so you know, I'm not going to take sides. Message received, loud and clear. Good, because I don't like this one bit, and Daddy should be on the same team. S sorry, Trucy. Wow. She's really mad. I'm sorry too, little lady. This is all my fault. I'm just worried things will never be the same between Daddy and Apollo. If they go through with this... Is that all? Well, I wouldn't worry about that. That's all the way it is. Well, that's the way it is with us men. We may fight, but we don't burn bridges. Unless you're talking about, like, an entire government, in which case, I am burning a lot of bridges. Sometimes literally. Really? Sure. One minute we're trading blows, and the next, we're having drinks together. We're simple creatures at heart. Ha 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 ha. I sure hope you're right. Sorry I'm late, Apollo! Athena, you're alive! Are you gonna be helping me? Because I need help. I need a lot of help. Athena! There you are! What happened with you and Mr. Wright yesterday? Uh, oh, uh, about that, I ended up going to the wrong airport. Uh, yeah, yeah. Did you have to go to LAX? Because you, you go there once accidentally, that's the rest of your day. I was waiting there thinking his flight was really late and... Before I knew it, I dozed off. Okay, so not LAX then, because you did. By the time I woke up, it was already dark. I figured something like that had happened. I figured, I figured something like that had happened. Athena, you just fell asleep at the airport? Where you, I guess she maybe she just parked and went in and then she just <sighs> fell asleep on a thing. Being late and dozing off are the two things you do best. Wow, harsh. <laughs> Ugh. Guilty is charged. So then, I take it you have no idea what today's case is about? Not a clue. Sorry. Um, what is today's case about, if I might ask? Another locked room mystery? A suspect with a flimsy alibi? Ooh, or a dying message carved in their own blood? Sorry, strike three, you're out. It's a civil case. No one's even dead. Well, someone's dead, but... A civil case? That's boring. I'm not even getting out of, I'm not even worth getting out of bed if there's no blood. You act like I'm speaking Swahili here. It's just... The right anything agency specializes in criminal law. Or so I thought. In civil cases, there are no prosecutors, right? Instead, both parties retain an attorney. Right. And the other attorney is someone you know pretty well. Really? Who? The trial will begin shortly. Please proceed to the courtroom at once. Well, I'm just gonna leave it on a, on a cliffhanger like that. Let's go in the courtroom, Athena. Okay. Let's do this. Apollo, wait! Who's the other attorney? And where's Mr. Wright? Kinda answering your own question there, Athena. No time to explain. Even though it would take me literally two seconds to say his name. There's no time to explain at all. Let's go. Uh, okay, right behind you. Not dodgy at all, Apollo. Are we gonna have the same judge? I hope so. If there's ever a different judge, I'm gonna be so mad. Thank goodness. Whew. Whew. I'd hate to have to rage quit this trial and not finish the rest of the game because they gave us a different judge. Court is now in session. Oh, um. <laughs> um. Is this some sort of practice session? A mock trial, perhaps? Are you guys cutie teenagers pretending to solve some crimes? Um. No. No, it's not, Your Honor. It's the real deal, Your Honor. Hmm. So then you two have had. A falling out. 
Are you okay? Do you want to talk about it? We can go to my chambers. I'll put on some music. I I won't have you using my courtroom for that, you know. You don't do like like a divorce or anything like that? It's nothing like that, Your Honor. Exactly. It just so happens that we have different clients in this case. I see. Well, here's hoping that there's no adverse effect on your working relationship. You can say that again? I had no idea we'd be going up against the boss today. Ugh. You sure this is a good idea, Paul? What? Do you want to switch sides? We need to go over there, traitor. Gone, you banana-suited, feely girl. Honestly, I'd rather be anywhere but here right now. Well, at least she is here. I'm really gonna need her help. Mr. Justice. Yes? Don't expect me to pull any punches just because you're the opposing lawyer. I mean that literally. I will hit you. As I said, the kid gloves are off. And come what may, they'll stay off. Same here, Mr. Wright. If it's a fight you won, it's a fight you'll get. Tension, tension, tension. Oh, they're so dreamy. They're so mad. Oh, 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 what are they gonna do? Eesh, you guys are really chomping at the bit, aren't you? It's a little too much testosterone going on in here. Made that to let myself out. I don't mind a good fight between co-workers. Just keep this civil case civil, and not some kind of civil war. Now then, if the plaintiff would take the stand, we may begin. Dun dun dun, dun. the plaintiff. Right, left, right, left, halt! A. Noble judge, members of the gallery, good day to you. I am Paul Atitian. This is but the start of my epic campaign, and you all have the honor of witnessing it. I believe the youth of this country are our very future. Too long have they been looked down on and given the cold shoulder, so to them I say, Ask not what you can do for your country. Ask what you can do for me. Miss Artisan, what is that crazy contraption you're writing? What are you talking about? Why do you sound like John F. Kennedy? Hehehe, <laughs> it's my custom made election winning mobile. Beautiful, isn't it? You're at a witness stand, not a campaign podium. So come out of there this instant. Fair. We can actually get him out? Oh, thank goodness. He's got a little name placard. All right, now with the plaintiff's attorney, Mr. Wright. Please explain the complaint filed against the defendant. Mr. Artisan's complaint against the defendant is simple. The defendant, one Dirk Sotmady, stole my client's family heirloom, the crystal of Amy Fay. Mr. Artisan merely seeks its return. This wouldn't have happened if that archaeologist hadn't kicked the bucket. I see. Well, Mr. Justice, let's have your opening statement, if you would. The defense, the defense asserts the item in question is the Founder's Orb, a sacred relic from Kurain. Hmm. Go on. I don't understand any of those words, but go on. It seems someone asked an archaeologist, Dr. Archie Buff, to study the orb. Dr. Buff determined that it was a Kuraini's national treasure, known as the Founder's Orb. The very orb that was stolen from a treasure room in Kurain several weeks ago. Why, well, yes, I saw a news report about that. The theft of a Kuraini's national treasure caused quite an uproar in the kingdom. Well, we believe that it was not, in fact, a theft in the traditional sense. But rather, that it was spirited out of Kurain by someone for Dr. Buff to study. You don't say, and... Around that time, an acquaintance of the defendant learned of Dr. Buff. He made contact with the doctor, who agreed to hand over the orb. Apparently, the doctor wanted nothing to do with it once he'd learned it had been stolen. 
It seems you even have a transfer agreement between both parties. The Jazad Mahdi also agreed to return the Founder's Orb to the Kingdom of Karaim. Once Doctor verified it was the real thing. I see. So this dispute centers on... Whether the item in question is the Founder's Orb or the Crystal of Amy Fay. Hmm. It's very unlikely that it could be two things at the same time with slightly different names. Hmm. That in turn will determine the object's rightful owner. I'd better bring my A-game. Going up against Mr. Wright won't be a walk in the park. Hmm. Come to think of it, the name Dirk Sodmady sounds awfully familiar. Very familiar. Where have I heard some kind of sad monkish name? But I can't recall where I've heard it. Or much of anything. Oh, um, it's probably your imagination, Your Honor. He's just a tourist, after all. Tourist. Tourist. Not a tar tourist. Hmm. My imagination, you say? I've never been accused of having one of those before. Are you sure about this, Apollo? He's a wanted criminal in Kurain, isn't he? In Kurain, yes. Here he's just a tourist. Very well. Let's begin the proceedings. Bailiff, would you bring in the first witness? Whoa. Who dis? Oh! Hi, Emma. I don't think I've ever seen your feet before. <laughs> Emma? Show some manners. We're in court. Rude. I know, it's just... This is a civil trial, so I was surprised to see a detective take the stand. I had to do some digging on Dr. Buff. What for? You disappoint me, Apollo. First, you know I'm not just a detective. I'm a forensic scientist. Do try to remember that. Second, you owe Mr. Wright an apology after all he's done for you. You have some nerve. Uh, first, I'm sorry. And second, I'm really just trying to do my job. You'll never get anywhere with that attitude. Take some advice from someone who's been there. Why do I feel like I'm on trial here? I'm not. This is a. Uh... Detective Sky, your testimony, if you please. Okay. What did you find, Emma? Tell us about the forensics you did to the crystal orb. The police have had their eyes on Dr. Buff for some time. And just today, a number of stolen artifacts were discovered in his study. Among them were a priceless urn and a statue that were stolen from the fake clan. It seems the doctor would do anything to study artifacts, including steal them. As for the relic at the center of this dispute, he likely stole it from the Atitian residence. Hmm. The doctor is a thief? Why am I just hearing about this now? Well, Cat Burglar isn't something he'd put on his resume. He was more careful than that. Didn't put that on the resume. But the fact is, he was a classic treasure hunter. A treasure hunter, huh? Like people who have thrilling adventures in exotic places? Risking life and limb for glory? I doubt Dr. Buff was the star of his own hit movie series, Athena. Out of respect for the dead, I will say that Dr. Buff wasn't doing it to get rich. Apparently, he only wanted to borrow artifacts to study them. He would then return them as soon as his research was finished. According to the doctor's child, he would even repair or restore some of the artifacts he stole before returning them. He believed he was honoring the dead by discovering their history through artifacts. But whatever lofty ideals he held, it makes no difference. Larceny is larceny. Yes, he certainly sounds no different from a regular thief to me. So let's say for a moment that the doctor really did moonlight in stealing artifacts. Might he not have stolen the Founder's Orb in Kurain and brought it back here himself? Nope. There's no record of him traveling overseas over the past few years. Plus, he couldn't very well leave his reclusive child at home all alone. Hmm. 
And this really must be the crystal of Amy Fay. Well, this is over. Good, good, good. Yes, he stole it from the Atitian residence. Probably so he could study it. This is the left hook I did not need. Ouch. I bet you never saw that coming, Apollo. Yeah, when Mr. Wright said the kid gloves were off, he wasn't kidding. Mr. Justice, you may proceed with your cross-examination. Now that I get to do it, and Phoenix Wright apparently doesn't, it'd be interesting if he did a cross-examination, and I just watched as he pressed everything individually. The police have had their eyes on Dr. Buck for some time. Hold it! Yeah, because he looks so good. He's always flexing in that mirror. Ooh, Dr. Buff! How exactly did Dr. Buff arouse the suspicion of the police anyway? Chalk it up to good old-fashioned sleuthing. After investigating countless artifact thefts over the past few years, the police finally zeroed in on him and the doctor became their prime suspect. A number of those artifact thefts occurred in Kurain Village, too, if I might add. And they started right around the time the doctor moved there. But he was never arrested. I take it there was nothing concrete linking him to, the, to a crime? No, which is why we were never able to get a search warrant in the first place. It's hard to arrest artifact thieves unless you catch them red-handed. Still, the police had him under constant surveillance. I think that would also need some kind of authorization, but okay. And just today, a number of stolen artifacts were discovered in his study. Hold it! Are you sure these allegedly stolen artifacts are the real deal? They're not fakes, that's for sure. Take the urn, for example. Apparently, it's an extremely intricate work of art. Its design, cracks, and other features would be impossible to replicate perfectly. Actually, I've had a few run-ins with that urn myself. So I was shocked to see it there in the doctor's study. I can say, without a doubt, that that urn was stolen from the Fey clan. Uh, I, I see. Detective Sky, please continue with your testimony if you would. Among them were a priceless urn and a statue that were stolen from the Fey clan. Hold it! Were any other stolen artifacts found besides those belonging to the phase? Uh, yes. For instance... Remember the large relief on the wall? It was chiseled out of some ancient ruins in the kingdom of Kurain several years ago. So there is something from Kurain. Ch ch chiseled out? Didn't that damage it? Well, he did restore the parts that were so faded you could barely see them anymore. It seems he intended to return it someday, so one could say his intentions were good. But good intentions are no get-out-of-jail-free card, that's a fact. If I might add, with respect for the deceased, the quality of the restoration was apparently exceptional. It seems the doctor invested a lot of money in hiring an extremely talented specialist. He sounds like a good man who took a wrong turn somewhere. I guess Sarge takes after him in that way. Any further questions? If not... Uh... It seems the doctor would do anything to study artifacts, including steal them. Hold it! Had these alleged thefts been going on for some time? At least five years, as far as we can tell. All the recent thefts had been local. But before moving to Karain Village, he'd been stealing from ruins around the world. Dr. Buff was an international criminal. This data lends itself to but one conclusion. Dr. Buff was a thief. Hmm. As for the relic at the center of this dispute, he likely stole it from the Addison re re residence. Hold it! You claim he stole a family heirloom from the Atitian residence. But claiming something doesn't make it true. Unfortunately, it is true. How can you be so sure? A police report was filed concerning the theft one year ago, in fact. What? 
A whole year ago? August 25th of last year, to be exact. The report states, and I quote, The crystal of Amy Fay was discovered to be missing. From the Addison storehouse at 10 a.m., the storehouse lock had been picked. Signed, Politician Wimperson. Wimperson? Politician Wimperson? Is that your real last name? Don't uh, tell them what my real last name is. It's uh, kind of embarrassing. Well, a year old report certainly lends the plaintiff's claim credence. The doctor could really have stolen the crystal of Amy Fay. Not only that, Your Honor, but the founder's orb was only found to be missing several weeks ago. That's nearly a year after the crystal's theft was reported. Therefore, I believe we must consider the orb and the crystal to be two separate items. Uh. Politician Wimperson? Not the most awe inspiring talent, is it? I see why you cut it. Not that he inspires confidence without it. Still, I'd probably do the same in his shoes. Robbery report added to the court record. Hmm. Hmm. A police report was found about the crystal theft a year ago. But the theft of the founder's orb was only reported a few weeks ago. So the crystal's police report was filed way before the orb was found missing. Unless it was stolen way before that and they just didn't notice it was missing until recently. Which is kind of what we found out from trial one, right? That suggests the stolen relic is the crystal of Amy Fay, as Mr. Addison Wimperson asserts. Hmm, I doubt the police report's a fake. After all, Emma is the one who submitted it as evidence. Still... I feel like something we learned in that police report is important, somehow. So we're gonna have to present that somewhere else. Let's have a look at the good old court record. Um, specifically this item. A report filed a year ago by one Mr. Paul Addis Attitian Wimperson. The crystal of Amy Faye was discovered to be missing from the Addison storehouse at 10 a.m. The storehouse lock had been picked. Hmm. Let's see what we have in her testimony. Had their eyes not been buffed for some time. Just today, a number of small artifacts were discovered in a study. Among them were a prizes urn and statue that were stolen from the Fey Clan. Seems the doctor would do anything to study artifacts, including steal them. As for looking at the center of this dispute, he most likely stole it from the Addison residence. Who sent the email? It's a good question. Does it tell us? The email was sent by... It was from Doc Buff to P Paw 711 For the in-mail, which is definitely Gmail. Paw 711 Is it the email? I deciphered the patterns, but I've yet to crack the ribble, the opaque crystal... Oh! Paul Addis... Ad Paul Attition Wimperson! P-A-W. Yep. It's a dog. <clears throat> he likely stole it from the residence, but probably not if Paul gave it to him. That's sneaky. Objection! The doctor stole the relic from the plaintiff? Are you sure? Because that statement doesn't agree with a certain piece of evidence. What do you mean? Take a look at this. What about it? This contains an email from the doctor's computer. Email? In that little piece of plastic? Do you, do you unroll it and it's just like a long scroll? That sounds amazing. Isn't technology great? <laughs> I'm afraid I don't understand. Oh, um... This stick here can store all sorts of computer data. I still don't get it. Help! <laughs> here, just look at this. Apparently the doctor was reporting his research findings to a certain individual. Now, take a look at this. It's the police report Detective Sky presented to this court. You can see the plaintiff's legal name on it. Paul Addison Wimperson. 
I can see why he dropped Wimperson from his name, but that's hardly breaking news. Uh, uh running on all the le all the po political channels. Wimperson, look closely, Your Honor. Ah! His initials. Right. The plaintiff's full legal name is Paul Addison Wimperson. Now consider this. The email's recipient address starts with three letters. P A W. <laughs> Don't tell me. <laughs> oh, but I will anyway. The individual who hired the doctor to study the disputed item is none other than Paul Addison Wimperson. Wait, then that means. Exactly. He wouldn't have asked the man who stole his family heirloom to study it. Therefore, how could this possibly be the crystal of Amy Fay? Ah! Unless they're the same. We never checked the doctor's emails. We couldn't even figure out the password to his computer. Maybe you should have befriended a terrifying drone child. The plaintiff willing left the orb in the doctor's care so he could study it on the behest of his benefactor. Wait, then what about the police report? I have all the details of the theft right here. It's probably for another relic, the real Crystal of Amy Fay. He's just using the report as a way to claim that our orb is actually his stolen crystal. Objection! And how are you so certain that Paw refers to my client's initials? What if he's talking to his grandpa, his pawpaw? What if he's talking to a bear's hand? Or a dog? Maybe the emo's recipient was a dog lover. <laughs> Don't encourage the chat, Phoenix! Perhaps, so let's get to know your client a little better, shall we? Mr. Politician Wimperson. I've never seen them actually just walk on before. Fair, oh, I suppose shutting down detractors is all part of a politician's job. Answer me this, Mr. Attition Wimperson. What is your shoe size, your favorite food, your birthday? Were you born July 11th? What's your birthday? My birthday, it's July 11th, but what's it to you? Oh, I see. You can address birthday gifts to my office. My secretary will be sure to throw them away. But full disclosure, I only accept gifts valued at one thousand dollars or more. Uh, uh. Hmm. That's almost how much my gamble costs. I'm just kidding. It's not worth that much. Hmm. Why is everyone gone silent? How can anyone be that self-centered? All right, politician. Did everyone hear that? He said July 11th. July 11th, or rather, 7-Eleven matches the numbers in the email address, or maybe he's a dog who works at a convenience store. Both the name and birthday are a match. I hardly think that's a coincidence. Also, you probably could have just asked him what his email address was. Or look on his campaign website. Because I bet it's listed. Wait. Why, you sneaky little? Looks like someone finally decided to join the conversation. Would the plaintiff care to explain? Uh, I would like to say that is qu quite... Quite what? Qu quite a thing you've said. That my words, I have the words, the best words. Um, any other thoughts? No further comments. I stand by my previous statement. <laughs> you can't just leave. Get back here. You can't just walk away. Even politicians have to explain themselves in the court of law. Often, especially politicians in the court of law. Oh, I'm afraid I simply don't know how it happened. Oh, I can't possibly explain matters outside of my purview. Perhaps it was a mistake on the part of my secretary. Oh, no you don't, you slippery eel. 
Mr. Wright, would you care to respond? I won't argue your assertion. My client lent the treasure in question to the doctor and asked him to study it. It seems that much is a fact. Now we're getting somewhere. However, it has no bearing on the issue of ownership. How so? Mr. Attition, I fully understand your position here. You had to hide the fact that you sent the crystal out to be studied. Your family would have been very upset if they'd, find, if they'd found out. It's a family heirloom after all. You gotta be kidding me. Mr. Wright is, well, correct, of course, but then he always is. That's why he's my lawyer. The crystal is a precious addition family heirloom and has been for centuries. But Dr. Buff was so eager to study it, it's proud heritage, I just couldn't say no. I didn't even tell my grandfather. Objection. But in order to win the backing of your so-called benefactor, you are going to give what you claim to be the crystal of Amy Faye to that person? You are going to give a precious family heirloom away? Just like that? I was going to explain everything to grandfather later, honest. My client's grandfather is very proud of his grandson for following in his footsteps. And if refusing him would have meant dashing the dreams of his darling grandson. I doubt the kindly old man could have said no. Well, grandchildren are meant to be spoiled. That's what grandfathers are for. I give my grandchildren lots of little ice creams and, you know, priceless relics, if I had any. Your Honor, please. I mean, it's been in the family for centuries. My grandfather thinks highly of my talents as a politician. That's why he entrusted me with this very important name placket today. It is actually his. So I'm sure he would have been okay with me using the crystal as I saw fit. Ugh, Grandpa's spoiled little brat. I think the judge's buying it, Apollo. No surprise there. He's always going on about his own grandchild, after all. Ugh. Grandchildren. Uh, excuse me. Uh, can I leave now, Mr. Wright? I'm, I'm not sure I even helped. I believe my work here is done. <laughs> By all means, Detective Sky. Thank you for your assistance. You're welcome. <laughs> it's nice to testify at a civil trial once in a while. i uh, see you around. Objection? No? Okay, see ya, Emma. Bye. Bye, Emma. <laughs>